I think everybody's mute right now. I can't hear not one person. Oh, that's me. That's me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. First, my first Zoom ever, Travis. <laughs> Never done these before. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to uh, open it up to questions uh, for Travis Dye. Let's see some hands. Let's start with Eric Scopel from 247 Sports. Travis, I, I kind of wonder what it's been like. I know some numbers down with some injuries and some players not enrolled. Probably fun, though, to get more reps. Kind of what's the, what's the spring been like, and what are you hoping to get out of it? Um, it's been it's been uh, pretty tough, but um, um, we, 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 we've been doing a really good job with it. Um, me, CJ, and Cross, and uh, this new cat that we just brought in, uh, Aaron. And uh, we've been doing uh, we, we've been doing pretty good. You know, just, um, you know, we've been getting a lot more reps because, you know, we got a couple people out. But uh, it's been fun. It's been real fun. Max Torres, Ducks Digest. Travis, we, we saw you really take over uh, in the shortened season last year. Um, when you're looking at your development since you got here to Oregon, um, you know, where do you kind of think you're at and, and where do you see yourself growing in this next season? Um, where I'm at right now, I feel like I've grown a lot since I've got here. Um, but you know, I have a lot, a lot more to go. You know, I have a lot more potential to reach and um, I'm, I'm never satisfied. And um, I'm working every day to get better every single day. I'm coming here with the best attitude, you know, and I'm getting my guys up and, and, you know, we're just, we're just coming here and working, trying to get better each and every day. Ryan Thorburn, register guard. Travis, at times last year, obviously we saw Joe Moorhead use you uh, as a receiving option a lot of explosive plays there. How's that development going in your tuna system as far as using you as a running back and also at receiver? I was going really well right now. And uh, Coach Moorhead um, used, the, used the phrase, um, it's time to take the training wheels off this year. And I'm, I'm very excited. I'm, I cannot wait, you know, and uh, he, he's, he's utilizing me really well the way I want to be utilized. And, and it's just going to be a really fun season. Eric Scopel. Travis, you and CJ have played so much here, and, and, and Sean was somebody I think people were excited to see more of. Is it kind of a, a, a bummer to see – not that you and, and CJ don't want reps, but is it kind of a bummer to see some of the younger guys missing spring because you know how you know, instrumental that can be in their development? Yeah, it, it's I, I, it's the worst, you know, and I know that um, um, I was hurt my freshman year coming in here uh, during spring ball. And it's not fun, you know, just watching other people play and, you know, getting their reps and you're not getting any reps, you know, but I'm here for Sean. I'm here for Sean and Trey and all of them. And, and I'm making sure that their mental is good and right and making sure that the play, the plays is right for them. And when they get back, they can just, you know, get back rolling, you know, hitting the field running. And um, yeah, I just, you know, my heart goes out to them guys and I'm calling them every single day to make sure they're good. It's an Alger, the athletic. You just talked about being used more in the, like the way that you want to be utilized within this offense. Like how has that changed just in your approach, like from the start of your career now to like your fourth spring and, or, or what is it? Maybe even your fifth, fifth spring. Uh, I think it's my fourth now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's just your, your, your role in this offense has changed and it, and it feels like now that you're in kind of more of like a comfort zone of like what you want to be doing. Yeah, most definitely. Um, the first the first uh, couple of years, I, I was just filling it out, you know, just trying to get in where I fit in. And then Joe, Joe Moorhead came in and he, you know, put me in a spot in a position where I can make plays on the ball, where I can get the ball actually and, you know, go into open space, you know, where, where I live. And, uh, you know, I just it's just been a really fun time with Coach Moorhead and the things that he's done. Max Torres. Travis, uh, with with this season, you guys return the entire offensive line, and, and you welcome a bunch of really talented uh, freshmen. Uh, wh what's that kind of been like in camp? And you know, does that make you feel you know a little bit more confident heading into next season? It's a, I have a lot of confidence in my O linemen. They're they're doing a really really good job right now. Um, I look at it as as one of the best O linemen five we've had in you know in a while since you know um, Frat Morgan Frat. Uh, uh, um, I'm butchering the names for some reason. Jake and all of them were here, and uh, uh, you know, and Dallas Warmack were here. I think you know we're getting to that to that kind of you know nastiness on the line and and grit, and um, they've just been doing a great job. Those, those all linemen, they're just they're really really talented. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Travis, you still working on punt return? And coach was mentioned on Saturday that uh, 
uh, some of the other assistant coaches are working with Coach Williams on each unit uh, of special teams and just adding to it a little bit. So I was curious as to who was working with the uh, punt return and punch coverage, uh, punt coverage teams. Um, since we since we're a little bit low on running backs this spring, I haven't been doing punt return as much. But I, I'm pretty sure as soon as we get into fall camp, that I'll be doing a lot more punt return and kick return. But uh, we're just not. I'm not doing as much as it in spring ball because you know we only have four, three or four backs right now. And so I'm just focusing on uh, the running back position at this point. But I still get, you know, a few punt returns after the after practice and uh, catch with Tom Schnee and everything like that. Ryan Thorburn, register guard. Were you surprised at all that CJ came back for another year? Or did you kind of get the sense with his injury at the end of the year and, and not having a normal season that he wanted to come run it back one more time? Um, me and him talked about it. Um, we, we, we spoke about it um, in the middle of the season. And um, I think before the season, he was leaning on more of leaving. And so in the middle of the season, we talked about it a little bit more. And he said that he wanted to come back. And uh, I was all for it. And I told him that, you know, this one, two point punch can keep going and that, that we're going to be an awesome duo still. And that, you know, last year, I know there's a bad taste in his mouth. And so he's ready to just come out this year and just go, go off. And I'm all for it. Jerry Thompson, Ducks Illustrated. Yes, uh, Travis, can you tell us a little more about who you call the new cat? What, what kind of talent does he bring? Oh, uh, Aaron, um, oof, forgetting the last name right now. Uh, he's a walk-on. Uh, he came from uh, Northern California. Um, he, is, he is a really good back, and um, he surprised the heck out of me. And uh, he, he's got a built like CJ and, and he's very downhill running back. And, you know, he picked up the plays really fast, faster than I've ever seen anybody pick up the plays. And, um, you know, he's very smart. And I just honestly, I can't wait to really see if we can get him out on the field in game days. I can't wait to see him. Eric. Travis, you mentioned CJ's injuries. He's coming back. Do you think he gets kind of a bad rap because of the injury history? I mean, when he's healthy, I think he's one of the more talented backs in this conference and in the country, but it seems like the injuries kind of get in the way of some of the conversation. Like, how, kind of how do you perceive him, and, and how have you seen his game this spring? Um, you know, I, I don't really pay attention to what other people, you know, say. You know, CJ is one of the best backs out there, you know, and he is he's probably one of the best backs in the Pac-12, if not the nation. And, um, you know, the injury stuff, I don't think it's a problem. I think he's, uh, you know, I think he's good. I think that just comes with the game of football. You know, you hate it, you love it. It just, it happens, you know. Um, it was just super unfortunate last year that that happened. But um, he's going to, CJ is CJ. You know, he's going to come out on top, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm right here with him. You know, this one-two punch is just going to be crazy. James? You referenced that one-two punch, Travis. Uh, there's an argument to be made about who has the best one-two punch in this league between you guys and Wazoo and Colorado. Um, I'm, I'm, again, I, everybody's going to say themselves, but right, is right. that sort of a goal for the two of you this this year is to to make the statement during the course of the season that you are the best one-two punch if not in the league and don't even yeah, so. yeah, the goal for us right now is just, you know, we want to win a national championship really bad you know, and becoming the best one-two punch in the pack, that's going to help us, you know, and obviously I believe that we are the best one-two punch in the pack and not, if not the nation. And so, um, yeah, I just, you know, of course we're going to say that, but um, we're going to show it this year for sure. Max. Travis, uh, one of the, the big storylines of uh, spring camp is you guys are looking for a, a QB one, um, you know, Anthony's, you know, leading the way right now, but uh, what are you seeing from, you know, him and, and more so maybe some of the younger guys that we're not hearing much about? Um, yeah. Um, Anthony is doing a really good job. You know, he's taking control of the offense. He's really grabbed the, uh, the bulls by the horn and just, you know, he's bringing his guys with him and I'm all for it. Um, the younger guys, they, they need, they need more time to improve and to, and to grow, but they have a lot of talent like Ty Thompson and uh, Robbie, these guys are just completely out the roof, talented, you know, Butterfield. Um, they, they just, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be nice and interesting the next couple of years to see, you know, who's going to come out on top after Anthony leaves. But uh, Anthony's doing a really good job of just taking this team over right now. Tyson. 
it's because you guys have played so many years together. Like you and CJ are always going to kind of be linked in your careers here during this kind of Oregon era. Like what, what, what is your guys' relationship like? And like, how has that kind of developed throughout the, this amount of time now? Yeah. Um, so whew. CJ was probably, he was one of the, he was one of, you know, one of the only people him and Samson knew that really took me under their wing when I first got here. And so ever since then, me and CJ have been just super close, best friends. You know, we used to live together. Um, uh, we don't live together anymore, but we know he comes over every single weekend and then I go over his house every weekend. You know, we're always with each other, you know, always laughing. Oh, it's always a joke, you know, um, but it's always love too. you know, you know, we just have that respect for one another. And, you know, that's just my guy. Any more questions for Travis? All right. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. See y'all later.